Pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, pop, lock, and drop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you're new, welcome. My name is Andrea D. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload another video. If you guys are returning, welcome back, baby. You already know how we get down here, okay? You already know how we get down. Y'all, today on Car Chronicles, we will be discussing toxic relationships, okay? Y'all, toxic. You heard me. And also, today is day, what is this? Today is day five of Vlogmas. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm going to keep saying that every time I to watch. Anyway, yeah, today is day five. Yeah, today five. I almost have to remember, child. Let me just say this. Let me just start off by saying this. These Vlogmas videos, baby, y'all better run this. run the numbers up. Period. Because posting the same day that you vlogging, editing, and all like you're doing everything the same day. You recording, you are editing, you are posting, and then you gotta wait fifty thousand years to upload it. I don't want to talk about it anyway. Yeah, I want run these numbers up. Stop playing. Running, run them up. Like y'all playing with me. Anyway, yeah. <sighs> Let me get my little lotion on, child. I just could swear I just put some lotion on before I left this house. And now here I am, putting lotion on again. It's cold out here, y'all. Anyway, you know I'm in the windy city, so you know how you know how the weather could be. So yeah, toxic relationships. And when I mean, well, I should say when I say toxic relationships, I'm not just, like just saying like with your husband or your boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm talking about toxic relationships. I'm. It could be like you know, a friend, like one of your best friends. One of your friends you know for 30 days or uh, 20 years. That's what I'm saying about toxic. And I'm not really too much talking about abusive relationships. Nah. But I'm just like, mainly it's to toxic. It could be like verbal abuse. Or it could be just as simple as like, you know, you got a feeling when somebody you hanging with just ain't for you. They toxic. A toxic person. Somebody that's hateful. Somebody just miserable miserable in their life and they want to you know put that on you because they ain't got nothing going for themselves child so anyway toxic relationships we have all been in them whether it was somebody you was dating whether it's somebody uh, that you're friends with yeah y'all yeah, meeting a uh, jolly rancher by the way because i can okay so i'll be smacking this this calm down so anyway I have been in, I'm not going to say a lot of toxic relationships, but I have had friends in the past that I feel like I'm not getting back what I'm giving to them. Like, I'm not receiving what I have gave to them. Like, as far as being a good friend, I'm a damn good friend. I'm a Capricorn. I'm going to keep saying it because you already know I'm representing what my sign is, okay? I'm, I'm a Capricorn. Yes, we could be like a little hard-headed. You know, whatever. Everybody can. And stubborn and all that. But for the most part, I'm, I'm a good person. And I pretty much give you what you're giving me. So you give me some stank stuff, I'm going to give you some stank stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you're, not, if you're giving me, I'm not trying to be cool with you or I'm being standoffish, I'm giving you that. And then I just, you know, I just leave you alone, child. I have no problem. Y'all can even ask my husband. I have no problem. No problem. We're cutting somebody off. I have cut people off for less, baby. Now, is that something I need to work on? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I don't really give people too many chances. Like, I just don't. Like, for what? Like, I'm 45 years old. I'm not going to be sitting up here playing with y'all like life is too short 
And for me to be sitting here study playing around with you and you just, you know what I'm saying, just keeping you around just to be keeping you around because, oh, we've been friends for 20 years or we've been friends for 10 years. Now, if the relationship is toxic and you ain't getting nothing out the relationship, why, why, why is y'all friends? Or why is y'all dating? Or why is y'all married? Like, what is the point? And I know it's different when you're in a uh, marriage or you, well, oh, yeah, I'm going to say marriage because if you dating like y'all this boyfriend or girlfriend, you can get up, get on up out of there. Marriage is a little bit more complicated because you, you know what I'm saying? You got to go to the paperwork and stuff. You got to, papers got to be filed, honey. So marriage is a little different and I know a lot of y'all be like, oh, I ain't leaving. My, I know my husband this, I know my husband that. I ain't leaving him because you know, the, you know what is good. Goodbye. If you at 40 years old, mid thirties and up, the dingling it should be the last thing you worrying about is the reason why you ain't left the, uh, your toxic marriage. That's just stupid. Y'all, please, there's too many men out here in the world. Not to say we want to be out here trying to find the one. Because, girl, I'm scared. I'm happy I'm in Mary. Because y'all, y'all men is crazy. No offense to the men that do watch me, which I don't know if it's a lot. Actually, I do know. Because I was looking at my analytics and all that stuff that tells you like if, if a male or a female is watching yeah i'm tired i'm tired it's just as much as females watch me males watch me which is i don't know why men watch me like but I, I, welcome welcome but um it's just like i don't know it's just, a lot of people say that i ain't like I, one of my friends i ain't naming no names obviously I ain't put nobody business out there but she was she was in a relationship. Well, she still is, I guess. Yeah, she still is in a relationship. And knowing the man was doing dirty stuff, treating her like crap, as far as lying. Oh, I'm oh I'm gonna meet up with you, boo. No, just lying. She was still with him, still with him. Why? You know he doing you dirty. You know he got he hiding something. You know us women, we be knowing. We be knowing when men on, on up to stuff. We be knowing. Just like sometimes men be knowing if we up to something. Leave it alone. My advice to you, if you're in a toxic relationship, friendship, leave it alone. Cut it off. Cut it off at the neck, baby. Cut it off at the neck. Just, just leave it alone. It ain't worth it. What do y'all think? Leave it in the comments. What do y'all think about if you're in a toxic relationship, friends, relationship, or marriage or boyfriend or girlfriend do y'all think what like what's the line like the deadline like when you be like okay enough is enough this is just like whether you've been with them for years 20 years 30 years 10 years five years you be like oh god this is just i didn't had enough like what is when do you really be like this is my breaking point i just can't be friends with you no more because girl you just be on some mess or i just can't be in this relationship no more because you know like you just be on some mess. It's just too toxic. It don't necessarily have to be the the boyfriend or the husband cheating on you. It, you know what I'm saying? It's, it could be anything. Toxic is toxic. It could be from cheating. It could be from not cheating. It could be from verbal abuse. It could be from y'all ain't getting along. Same with the females. You got your girlfriends. It could be from a little shady here and there because they might be a little jealous or envy of you or whatever, hating or whatever, you know. It could be anything because uh, I'm sorry to say this. It's always somebody out there wishing, who oh, I wish I could have a life, or or I should say either that or they wishing that they can um have the things that another person has. Like if you travel a lot, you probably sit back and like, dang, I wish I could be able to travel a lot. I wish I had the money that I could travel a lot. Oh, you kind of a little bit envy of them. You hating on them a little bit on the low low. All I can tell you is get your money game up. You can do whatever you want to do. What's meant for you is meant for you. What's meant for them is meant for them. So, I, I don't know what to tell y'all. Because, I, I mean, we all have done I'll be like, oh, I wish I had that. Or I wish I... Ain't no more wishing. You got If you work it, you can have it. That's just what it is. But, yeah, toxic relationships is not the place to be. Now, whether you, like I said, whether you were in a marriage, boyfriend, girlfriend, or your friends, this is all categories, friends too, because you got some girlfriends that you know you damn long well, you don't need to be friends with no more, but you, you friends with them anyway, you know, you got that one girlfriend that like you cool with, but and you only mess with her like when you want to go out and kick her to the club, or you got a friend where you just can go hang out with, 
drink a little something, watch a little movies, just kiki. Or you got a friend that, you know, you just, you can relate to everything. You can kick it with them. You can tell them your business if you need to confine in something, in someone. You know, you got those type of friends. You got to figure out, you know, like what, um, if, if this even worth them being in your space. Like I said, life is short. You don't want to be wasting all your time dealing with somebody, with, like I said, whether it's a friend or a relationship with a man or a relationship with a woman to whoever's watching. Um, we don't want to be doing that. Life is too short. You don't want to be doing that. It's like stupid. Like, why was you sitting here wasting your time with a certain person and you know it ain't, they ain't, they ain't for you. They ain't for you. They was in the past. I mean, when y'all was younger, y'all got older, more mature. People change a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, you you need to figure, let me not put that down. You need to figure out, because I don't want to block y'all. You, you need to figure out, you know, if that person's still for you. Because sometimes people have seasons, baby. Seasons run out. Seasons run out. You know what I'm saying? Seasons change. And maybe your time is up with that person. And that's okay. You can love them from afar. You know what I'm saying? I will still love you from afar. But we ain't going to be together. But we ain't going to be friends no more. It ain't how it used to be. I don't know. Y'all, leave me leave, leave me something. What y'all think? Leave, just drop it in the comments. Let me know what y'all advice is as far as sticking around with a toxic person. Like, do y'all just like, are y'all one of those type of people that just hurry up and up a dip up out of there? Or you just drag it out? Like I said, it's harder when you're in a relationship with a man or a woman, whether you're a boyfriend or girlfriend or if you're married. It's harder to like dip out of this situation. I understand that. It's harder. It's more easy to dip out of the situation when it's just one of your girlfriends, you know what I'm saying, or one of your guy friends. It's a little different, okay? But when you're in a relationship with a male or a female and you've been in that relationship for a long period of time, it's it's harder to get on up out of there. I'm not going to lie. I, I I know it would be. It's like if you broke up with a boyfriend. You know it's going to be, you know it's better for you to break up with the boyfriend. You know it's going to be hard in the beginning, but once you get through... And you're like, I can't believe I went through all that. I can't believe I stayed as long as I did. Like, what was I thinking? It's going to hurt. Just like if you cut yourself, put some hot sauce in that open wound, it's going to burn and sting like a mother trucker, okay? But when that shit heal and you clean the inside out, you clean it and get it all in, you're going to be like, damn, that feel good. Well, I remember when I had cut myself and I had some, it, it was burning, there was some hot sauce up in there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It, it was it was bad then, but when you get through it, because you always going to get through it. God, like they say, God ain't going to give you nothing you can't handle. He know who you are. He know what you can handle. He ain't going to give you nothing you cannot handle. I have been through a lot of different things in my life, and you, when you go through those things, and I'm pretty sure everybody can relate, when you go through those things, you be like, man, why, why me? Why? Why me? Why me? But then when it passes... And it had already came by and it's gone. Bye bye, like in that river mirror. Bye bye. You be like, man, I can't believe I went through that. But I, but guess what, y'all, y'all survived. We survived it. So that's just like with toxic relationships. You probably sitting back there. I, don't, I need to just leave this person alone. But you either in love with him if you're in a relationship, or you care about him a lot because that's one of your girlfriends or one of your guy friends you've been knowing for a long time. So it's it's hard. It's hard to um deal with that type of stuff but like i said leave in the comments give me y'all suggestions and uh, you know what y'all think and y'all well, not suggest yeah tell me your input just give me your input on what y'all think about the whole toxic relationship scenario or situation here you know? and let me know what y'all think but as far as i'm concerned toxic relationship my only advice is get the hell out just get out if it's a, like one of your girlfriends you can know you can slide on out of there real easy just slide on out of there. Just slide on on out of there. Now, if you're a boyfriend or girlfriend, I don't know. You might have to creep on up out of there. Creep on up out of there. I don't know. But, yeah, that's just my two cents on the whole toxic relationship. Like I said, this is not just for people that's married or people that's dating. 
It could be for friendships. Hell, family members. You got a lot of people in your family. It's probably toxic damn relationships. Trust me. Yeah, everybody got that one or two or three or four in y'all family that you like. This, this mofo crazy as hell. Like, why am I? I don't, I don't fool with. I don't fool with her. I ain't messing with her no more. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody got somebody in their family. They be like, uh-uh, I ain't messing with this person because they they don't mess. Uh, they start too much drama or whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, leave in the comments. Give me your opinions, your advice, whatever you got to say about the toxic relationship. How long would you stay in a toxic relationship? Because everybody, you know, got their own opinion. Like, oh, I, I like me. I be like, oh, I ain't gonna, I ain't stay in no toxic relationship. That's a lie because I didn't did it before. Okay, so you know what I'm saying. So I don't know. It's just crazy. I was just bringing that up because it came to me when I was like, "Oh, what am I gonna do for the next car chronicle?" I was like, "I know toxic relationships because everybody can have have been probably in a toxic relationship, and that's why I want to make it very clear. I'm not just talking about like people that's dating or married. I, it could be family as well, family members. It could be a, one of your friends that you went to school, high school or college with." You got all types of uh, toxic relationships. They ain't just in a boyfriend and girlfriend type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Give me y'all input. Comment down below. What toxic relationship have you guys been in? And how the hell did you get out? Or are you still in that toxic relationship? Please let me know. Okay? We will talk about more juicy topics. And, you know, let me tell y'all. All the tops. Talk, I can't even talk. All the topics on Car Chronicle. <laughs> will not just be, it's going to probably be some serious conversations too. Like I told y'all before, when I first started episode one for Car Chronicle, I wanted you guys to leave in the comments some stuff that we could talk about for Car Chronicle. Because I, I have a little bit of stuff wrote down that I think we could talk about, but it's good to, you know, if y'all chime in too, so we can really get, really get the uh, conversation good and juicy. You know what I'm saying? Because I can learn from y'all just like y'all can learn from me. I can give you advice and it might help you and vice versa. So, yeah, leave in the comments some other topics we could discuss for Car Chronicle. Because we're going to be doing Car Chronicle for, for quite some time. So, y'all better buckle up, baby. <laughs> but um, let me get out of here. Because I literally got to clock back in and work in, shit, four or five minutes. So, I'm still in the car, as you can see. Because I was like, let me do Car Chronicle real quick. And y'all know I'm vlogging every day. So, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't even know why I agreed to it, but I did. So I'm a person of my word. I'm going to do 25 videos every day. But I probably, next year, I ain't going to lie. I, I think I'm going to do 12 days of Christmas. I'm just being honest. Because, baby, this is the second time I did the uh, vlogmas. This, this ain't no joke. That's a lot. Especially for the people that work. I say nine to five because that's just why everybody say you work nine to five, even though I don't work nine to five, but you know what I'm saying. Then work full time and then doing uh, YouTube as well. It's, it's a lot of work because you only got so much time to vlog, edit, and upload, especially if you work in an everyday job. So it is what it is. But I love you guys. And like I said, you guys better get the running these numbers up. Share my channel. If you got some friends, co workers, hell. Boyfriend, girlfriend, Co anybody that don't know about life with Andrew D, you better put them on, put them on, and put them on now because we're gonna run these numbers up. I'm doing vlogmas every day to Christmas. I want to get these numbers up. I want these numbers to be popping, pop, lock, and dropping, pop, lock, pop, lock, and dropping. Mm -hmm. Let me go because I gotta get my ass inside this building. I will talk to y'all tomorrow, literally, on the next vlogmas video. <laughs> Bye, y'all.